Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, last week, I spent most of the week in Italy on a business trip working out of a hotel frantically trying to get stuff done. And it just made me realize how much I love my home office. And I thought I'd do a little tour. I've done a couple of videos like this way, way back when my YouTube channel was in its very early phases, but I've made some uh, changes to it since and I thought I'd do another video to show it off. I've been working at home for probably um, the best part of five years now. Now I definitely don't work exclusively from home. I go to clients, I go to conferences like I did last week, uh, but the home office is kind of the centerpiece of my uh, home working lifestyle. And I have to say, compared to working in an open plan office, this is just like so much better. One of the things that I think is very ironic about startup culture, and I spend a lot of my career so far working in startups, is that it's become common that like even the CEO sits in the bullpen. And to me, uh, someone with, uh, in the past, uh, you know, um, anxiety or uh, trouble focusing sometimes, it was just impossible to get deep work done uh, in one of those kind of open plan offices where the windows are glass and all you can see are people going around. Um, so I've been work I currently work for one client as a marketing uh, communications consultant slash advisor. Uh, for the last three years, I worked for a bunch of different clients. So I'm always going out of the office for meetings, as I said, but when I come back here to get my actual work done and therefore I've invested a lot of time and effort in the space, it is a rented uh, we do we are renters uh, so therefore um, I can't make like permanent alterations but I've done the best I can with our uh, contract uh, to make this a really great place to get some work done so I'm gonna show you guys uh, firstly last thing I was thinking am I gonna clean up this uh, place before I do this video and I decided uh, I'm not gonna do that because the only time this home office I spend so much time working out of this space the only time it's like perfectly clean is if we're having guests over, <laughs> that's number one. Or secondly, if I'm doing something like a photo shoot, which I do every you know, six months to keep track of the little improvements I'm making. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of the stuff I've added that makes it truly my space. And let's take a look. All right, so the center piece of my home office is this uh, delightful workspace. It's a three monitor array going into a desktop. I'm not working on anything, you know, super uh, sensitive so you guys can uh, can see what's on my screens. I'm editing some video, uh, which I'm then on the center screen uploading to YouTube and on the right screen, I'm backing it up to my NAS. So this is a uh, probably the best value thing I've ever bought is a multi-monitor array. They're just insanely useful. In the past, I've worked with one, one monitor. I've worked with two monitors. I personally find three the sweet spot. Uh, another great thing about these multi-monitors uh, these monitor arrays is that they can rotate. So if I sometimes I have this, I can just literally with my hand rotate it upwards and I can have this in document format, but these two in horizontal format. So if you don't know where to get these, look on Amazon for dual, triple monitor arrays. They even make like these insane nine monitor arrays for like, if you've ever seen uh, the trading floor of an investment bank, they use those kind of things there. The next thing um, to point out is this fantastic desk. This is a custom uh, whole wood desk. So what happened was um, I initially set up this array on an Ikea desk, Linmon or something, and it was just like too heavy. The, um, the table started warping within the first few weeks and it was definitely about to break. So what I did, I went out and I measured up the dimensions. Now this room is definitely not super uh, spacious by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm lucky to have a separate home office. A lot of people don't have that. So I measured it up and I was like, I'm gonna try use every freaking centimeter available to me almost. So I got it all the way to here. I think it's 150 centimeters in width uh, and it's 90 centimeters in depth. And just like I finished this myself, the comparison in quality between this, and by the way, it was not that expensive, the custom wood desk. The, just the difference in quality between this and your IKEA MDF is a different league. But I actually have used IKEA trestles to support the desk. I've tried to do my best with cable management using Velcro ties, but you can see it's a little bit of a mess, but it gets the job done. So I'm personally, next thing to say is I'm a big desktop fan. And working from home, you really don't want to go offline. At any point, I need to uh, get these it's kind of better arranged. I'm gonna turn that off. So I use a uh, uninterruptible power supply or a UPS so that if there's ever a momentary power outage, the UPS will kick in and keep my desktop running. I even have a little uh, glow in the dark strip so that if the lights go out in winter, whatever, I can quickly locate the UPS and make sure it's running okay. 
Uh, so yeah, I also, I also use a desktop computer. I'm a huge fan of desktops, much more so than laptops. I find them just a lot more versatile. And given the kind of setup I work from, uh, desktop served me just a lot better. Because I've started doing a lot of video editing work, I picked up some studio monitor speakers about six months ago. Uh, these are, I forget the name, but it was thanks to Reddit and specifically the budget audio file subreddit who recommended these things to me and they're super, super powerful. Um, but because we live, we live in a shared rental building, I more commonly reach for just just headphones when I'm editing audio, to be honest, because they don't, they're so powerful and the bass is so loud that they tend to annoy the neighbors. Uh, one thing I've thought about using, I've never really done is a little intercom system. Uh, sometimes I put my phone in flight mode and I figure it'd be good to have some backup. So this isn't currently connected, but we have one in the living room. Um, now this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of Ikea furniture. This is uh, a uh, modular unit and you can see this has taken me about three years uh, to build and to gradually fill up with storage. We unfortunately don't really have storage in this particular rental. So basically every, almost everything I own from a tech standpoint is like in one of these boxes. I've tried to label them to the best of my ability. You can see this is supposed to be brackets, rigs and fixtures. But uh, it's gone a bit chaotic over the years, so I just kind of have a rough idea. So this is where I'm storing my backup media, like my M discs, etc., or in that box. And I just try to keep these box roughly organized. I'm even using the shelf. You may see this room is very, very tall, very high ceiling. So I'm just trying to use whatever space I can get my hands on here. Some other cool things are well, I think they're cool. Um, I do a lot of video blogs. So I record them from this desk. I also do conference calls. So I have one fill light here and that's using a scissor stand going into this side of the desk. And if you come across all the way to my other side of the desk, I have a second smaller light here. Uh, what else do I have that I can show you guys? Caffeine pills for when, uh, try to avoid using these, but uh, for when energy is lagging. I have a white noise machine, which is super, super useful if you're living in a noisy area, your home office, and you need to mask out sounds, this thing is Electrofan, one of my best ever purchases. I have a bunch of uh, charging ports because I've got so many microphones and stuff like that at this point. And I have one of these USB extenders for kind of the same reason. And I have a, basically every single USB port on the computer has something like a, a micro SD reader coming out of it. This is actually a KVM switch. Uh, so my mouse and keyboard go in here. So if I'm working between a desktop and a laptop, I can actually put a second output in that side of the KVM, and that will allow me to flick between two different computers with the same peripheral. So that's pretty cool as well. Cool for geeks. I have my Adiomatic um, speakers, which are also amazing for blocking out sound. And that's pretty much all there is to show you guys on my desk. As you can see, as I said, this is gonna be in its natural state. You can see earphones, the lavalier mic for recording my videos. And uh, if you look over here, it just gets worse and worse and worse. I've got my camera. I've got a USB audio interface. I've got a little uh, desk here. And I have my, uh, my uh, webcam, which I use for recording these vlogs. Now, I'm trying to show you guys the important or slightly unique stuff. This is my networking stack, and I've done a ton of videos about this, about setting up redundant home internet. So what we have here is my ISP router. I then have a cellular router. The antennas probably need a bit of a adjustment. And then this is my TP-Link load balancer. And then this is feeding internet throughout my house. So one of the outputs of this ethernet comes to the computer. Another goes out to the next room where, all, where there's more networking gear and switches. And this basically allows me to have backup internet. So I have backup power, backup internet. Um, I've done videos on exactly how to set this up, uh, but this had been probably one of the best investments. It looks pretty, pretty not significant to look at it, just a few boxes, but that's what this is. It's a ISP router, cellular router, and a load balancing router. Next thing that I uh, kind of can't live without is my printer. I do try to avoid printing stuff as often as, as often as possible, but I have a little compact HP printer. And I think that's pretty much all there is in my little show and tell guys. You probably, if you watch any of my video blogs, you'll see this in the background. There's nothing so uh, exciting going on, on here besides water bottles and more video stuff. But this is actually an Ikea hack. It's a double hillis. So it's two hillises uh, kind of soldered together. Again, trying to take maximum advantage of the 
uh, high vertical ceilings here. And then just to the left of that, I keep my uh, boom microphones, tripods, monopods, gimbals, stuff like that. And because I, you know, around my office, there's always stacks of paper, folders, briefs, highlighters. It's kind of organized chaos, but uh, this is really where the majority of my work gets done. I store everything related to my computing there. I have good lighting and these are remote controlled as well, these lights. So I have a little control and if I can find the power button, I can just push a button and I've got my fill light there and I can actually adjust the light. So this is one of those things that if you're doing a lot of zoom calls, investing in a good business quality webcam and some decent lighting, you could have three lights. I think two is sufficient. I usually only use one. Will make a big difference to how you appear along of course with a good microphone. Uh, the tour of my home office as it stands on uh, where are we in the calendar May of uh, 2022 as I say it's a work in progress so hopefully by the time I make another home office tour video we'll be at the next level but for now I find this a super super productive workspace um, and I'm really happy with it so I uh, hope that little tour was of interest thank you guys for watching